Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will cover the data warehousing concepts like the aggregation and the schemas. So first of all, we will see what are the aggregations. So, aggregation data is usually taken collectively or in the summary form. So my aggregate functions are sum, count, minimum, maximum and these are applied on the major values which are facts and it is always associated with a dimension. So the aggregation it plays a very important role into my data warehouse because let's say if I have one table which holds the value of a year. So we have the 365 records for that particular year. Now if somebody wants to see the complete sales for that particular year so what it will do is it will perform the summation of all the major values like let's say the revenue. So it will perform the revenue for uh, the summation for the revenue of my complete year. But what we do in the data warehouse is that we create the aggregated tables like if I create the three aggregated tables one for the year one for the quarter and one for the month. So what will happen let's say if, uh, if the user want to see the revenue for a particular year so that query will hit my aggregated table which is at the year level. So in that table we have only one record which contains the summation of revenue for complete year. So we can compare the performance like it is 365 times faster than the, uh, than the previous query. So that's why the aggregation is very important into my data warehouse. So usually we keep the aggregated data into the data warehouse and the common aggregate functions are like my average, count, maximum, median, minimum, mode and the sum. So that's why the aggregation is required into the data warehouse. After that let's come to the schema. So what is my schema? Schema is basically the logical description of the entire database. So my schema will tell me how each and every table into my database is connected to each other. What is the relationship between the data? So the database uses the relational model while a data warehouse uses the star, snowflake and the fact constellation schema which we generally call as the galaxy schema as well. So wh when it comes to the operational database, so my operational database it uses the ER model that is my entity relationship model whereas my data warehouse in that we have three different forms of schema which are star, snowflake and my galaxy schema. So this is my fact and the dimension table sample. So this is my dimension table for the customer which is my master data for the customer which contains the information like customer ID, name, gender, income, education and the region. Similarly, we have this fact table which holds the primary key of my customer table and then it has the unit sold. So let's see how my star schema is. So my star schema it will looks like a star. So we can see here that in the middle we have the fact table which is surrounded by my multiple dimension tables. So I can see that I have the sales fact table in the middle with all the keys of my dimension table and I have my dimension tables joined to my fact table with the key. So this is a typical example of my star schema where we have one fact table in between and my all dimension tables are surrounded. So each dimension in a star schema is represented with only one dimension table. So the dimension table it can contains the set of attributes like my customer dimension table it will contain the customer attribute my time dimension will contain the time attributes. So in my star schema we have one fact table and multiple dimension tables surrounding it. After that we have the snowflake schema. So my snowflake schema is somewhat similar to the star schema with the difference is that my dimension tables are normalized in my snowflake schema. So the normalization will split up the data into the additional tables. 
So my database normalization is the process of organizing the attributes and tables of a relational database to minimum data redundancy. So my normalization, it involves the decomposing a table into the less redundant tables, but without losing the information. So my difference between the star schema and the snowflake schema is, in my snowflake schema, the dimension tables will be normalized. Whereas in my star schema, my dimension table will be only one. That is, it will not be getting splitted. So, this is the example of the normalization. So, we have here the varieties of the varieties by the restaurant and the delivery areas by the restaurant. So, this is my complete table which was earlier keeping the whole information about my restaurant, the variety and the delivery area. So, since the table was huge, so what we did is we have divided it into the two tables that is my variety by restaurant and the delivery areas by restaurant. So, this is how the normalization work where we will break the big table into the smaller table and then my fact table will be attached to one of them. So, this is a typical example of the snowflake schema. So, in the star schema we have seen that there was a one fact table and after that we, uh, there were the dimension tables surrounding it, right? So now, in the snowflake schema, we have the fact table in the center, but my dimension tables, they are further divided into the different tables. Like my item dimension, it is further di uh, divided into the item as well as the supplier. Similarly, my location table, it is, it is also further normalized. So basically, the differences in my snowflake schema, there will be the normalization of the dimension tables. Whereas in my star schema, the dimension tables, they are not normalized. After that, we have the galaxy schema. So, in the star schema and in the snowflake schema, we have seen that there was one fact table and there were multiple dimension tables. But in my galaxy schema, we have multiple fact tables as well as the multiple dimension tables. So, in this we can see that we have two fact tables here. One is the fact sales and another one is the fact shipping. And then we have multiple dimension tables and both of these fact tables, they are sharing the dimension tables among them. So, this is the difference between my snowflake schema, my star schema and my galaxy schema. So, in this, uh, in this slide we have covered what is the aggregation, what is the use of the aggregation and after that we have seen what are the different types of schema in the data warehouse like the star schema, snowflake schema and the galaxy schema. Thank you.